So this is my trade binder. This is the binder I bring with me to trade. And it's very simple and very easy to understand why it is my trade binder. So I have just fetch lands. I have shock lands. I have fetch lands. Uh, it looks like we're running out of polluted deltas. And there's catacombs. And then I have shock lands. And then eventually, once I show you all the lands and I get to a pretty cool page, maybe the... Yeah, let's get the steam vents. Yeah, steam vent page. When you trade, you're not trying to impress. You're not like trying to date somebody, okay? You don't need to bring your best collection to trade night and you know that nobody got nothing to trade. You're not going to bring your Black Lotus from your safety deposit box to trade night. It doesn't make any sense. You know, I know a lot of Magic players, they'll try to impress other Magic players and they'll bring their most valuable collections and they don't have any intention of trading them because there's no one at the store with anything remote. So this is my trade binder I take at the store. Oh, the camera is gonna fall off soon. This has been very difficult recording this and we still have one more uh, epic binder left. This is the trade binder that I take at the store or I take at my friend's place. And if there's anything I need in standard or in modern, you can easily trade in out of these. And the rationale is very simple. Um, now these are a little higher end of land. The rationale, in my opinion, is very simple. Everyone needs land, and even if you don't need land, it is extremely liquid. There's no one who's not going to even you know. There's no one who's not going to want this type of stuff uh, because even if they don't need that shock land, they don't need an extra polluted delta. They know that as trade bait, they are more than happy to accept it because it will go very fast, especially if you give them a good value on the card. So these are lands. These are all foils, by the way. So these are a little high end. This is how I do a Cavern of Soul foil. That's very high end. But nonetheless, you might find a card that you need. So between this binder, it has enough value, but it also like if I lost it, it wouldn't be the end of like losing the next binder I'm gonna show you. This is a very casual, a very friendly binder. This is something that in my opinion, gets the job done. I really do not agree with the idea of like you take your whole, you know, like whenever you hear about people getting their car smashed and their collection taken, it's like their entire collection. You do not need to bring your entire collection to EDH night or FNM. You don't need to bring a bunch of dual lands or whatever it is. You know, in my opinion, this is enough to trade for anything that comes in that night. Even if it was a Lotus, I probably have enough for like a beat down Lotus straight up for the whole binder. And um, this is on revised. This is stuff that people love for EDH, copy artifact, demonic tutor, fork. Uh, obviously it is reserve list stuff. Um, and uh, it's just con it's just stuff that people want. So basically do not bring, in my opinion, it is very stupid to bring your whole collection you're just asking, I mean, again, I don't want to victim blame, but there's so many posts on Reddit all the time. And it's like, oh, I went to this convention and my entire collection got stolen. You're going to a convention, it's draft. Yes, you might play some standard for fun. Yes, you might play some EDH for fun, but you don't need to bring 10 EDH decks because there's no way you're going to use all of them. You don't need to bring your entire collection unless you're trying to sell it, of course, to the vendors. If you have no intention of selling a card or trading a card away, do not bring it to the event. If the event is a small event like FNM, who is going to be able to trade for your Power Nine? It's like it's it's wild. Like unless unless you knew beforehand and you had negotiated a deal before, I could see how that would work. But not just random people who walk in. The this is the ultimate trade binder. You got some original Ravnica. Uh, you got some, yeah, original Ravnica. You got some foil lands. You got some foil shock lands. You got some ED8 lands in the back. You got foil cavern of soul, which is beautiful. Uh, these are all foil lands. This is it. There's nothing I cannot trade for out of this binder. And sometimes I trade into Pokemon because this is liquid. This is the stuff that everyone wants to get their hands on. Like I said, you might not need a fifth polluted delta, but you know a friend who does. You know someone else who would love a polluted delta for your EH deck. 
You may not need a foil cavern of souls, but hey, you might want to upgrade. And you're looking at that and you haven't really seen all that many of them. So that's kind of my point. My point is this is the type of stuff that you can bring to trade night and there's nothing that no wise card. I traded these for wise cards. I traded some of these for wise cards because they, they can take it straight. Even at a convention, you can take these straight and get cash for it. They buy out really nicely. Fest lands, shock lands, they buy out nicely. Now, in terms of an investment, no, this is not investment because they just get reprinted. They'll continue to be reprinted and reprinted and reprinted until they are worthless. I wouldn't be surprised if they were commons one day. <laughs> you know, like, but as of today, if I go to a convention, I go to a Friday night magic, I go to an EDH night, I ain't there to try to date some of my, my homies, right? Like, there's no one to date. I mean, there's, have you guys seen? You guys seen it? You guys know what I'm talking about? The um, butt cracks? You're not going there to impress people. Look how much money I have. You're going there to have fun, take the bare minimal with you, and this is what my trade binder looks like. It does everything I need to do, and if something bad happens to it, God forbid, I don't... It's not like I'm losing a Lotus or a Power 9, which had no potential being traded. This has utility, it has functionality, and more importantly, it's stuff that people want. Why would you bring your whole backpack? Why would you bring your whole collection for that one guy who might want that one rat token that you have? It's not going to happen, man. I mean, there's a store, right? You're at a store. When did they have the rat token for sale? So that's my point. My point is I see a lot of players and they go to FNM. They're always trying to impress somebody. They're always trying to like, oh, you know, let me impress my homies. Man, the homies don't need to be impressed, man. I mean, I, they just want to trade, right? They want just want to get utility and stuff. So maybe like, I promise you this type of trade binder, even if you don't have as much land as me, it's the concept that this does its job perfectly. It's got some reserve list on the back. It's some EDH reserve list. Again, Demonic Tutor, very popular card. Copy Artifact, Fork. Um, what's the other one? Mana Vault. Not on the reserve list, but still very popular. And Brain Geyser. Again, that's probably one that I could leave off, but it is what it is.